Welcome back in, everybody. Golf Talk Radio with Mike and Billy. Brought to you by Pass Robles Golf Club. Check out the uh, newly renovated Pass Robles Golf Club. Multi-million dollar renovation. 18 old championship golf course located in the heart of wine country, Pass Robles, California. PassRollsGolfClub.com for tee times, 805-238-4722. You can also reach me up there. We uh, do lessons, club fittings, all that good stuff. Grip stations uh, every once in a while. We have a grip station, too. Well, that's awesome, bud. So uh, 805-238-4722. Do you do any type of skin treatment there yet? Not yet, but I'm, right. we're thinking about it now. There's a possibility. <laughs> I think we. Can, there's I think there's a business future with. All I got to tell us. you, he he's been in here many times, Todd. The S, most, I guess, of anybody else. He has got to be one of the most patient <laughs> guests we've ever had. There's I no, can't believe he's still here. There's no. Well, he almost. We just woke him up, to be honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> but it is, is it now? I, I, I've mispronounced your wife's first name since I've known her name. You said it's Carmel. It's Carmel, but it's okay. Are you a Bordenero or Bordenaro? Bordenaro. See, I've been mispronouncing your name. You can say it the other way. But it's Bordenaro. I just and it's say, Carmel, but say, I could call her Carmel. Just say Todd. Uh, well, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> um, joining us is Todd Bordenaro, PGA professional. He's regarded as one of the top PGA instructors, coaches in the metropolitan New York area. There's a lot of people in that area. Congratulations on all your awards. He's won everything. Um, he has a book um, out that I believe is called Fit for Golf, Set for Life. And he now does a blog, which we're going to try to get you all to go to. Um, but we're going to talk to him personally about that. Let's talk to Todd first, man. Let's talk about you. Hey, with the, morning. Welcome, welcome to Good the show. Morning. I'm awake now. Got a, a big fan of your wife. Yeah, everybody is. I know, huh? Yeah. Once, once you get to know her, it's pretty darn cool. <laughs> so yeah, I, I can see that, and it, and it's you know I knew that uh, you, you you had to be married to a very special person because you're a special guy. So, but uh, you succeeded all of my expectations, young lady. So it's pretty good. Thank you. Um, and he had many. I had many. <laughs> I had many. <laughs> he always does. <laughs> <laughs> so how you been, Todd? I've been great. Happy yeah, anniversary to uh, you too. Thank you, and uh, thanks for having us. And sure. we're glad to be. Uh, it's my second trip out here this year, and uh, yeah. always uh, we'll be doing more of them. Love being out here. It's just. It's awesome. I'd like to make an announcement that Todd became the captain of the Edna Valley Winery yesterday, and uh, so we, I, 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 yeah, and I was, I'm not his official best mate. I thought I was, but I guess that I'm not. Wow. I know, it kind of killed me, but our captain. Yeah. I, I saluted as we drove by this morning. You did. Um, so, but that was very enjoyable. First wine tasting I think I've ever been on, um, maybe once before. I'm not a wine drinker, but uh, it was very educational and very, I enjoyed every you did second. Like, you like the Chardonnay. I did like the yeah, Chardonnay. You did like that. Yeah, I yeah. did actually. And so, but anyways, to get off topic. So uh, let's talk about. Um, well, you've been in b- business forever. Um, you're a fellow uh, trainer for nationally with the First Tee, and it's an it's how we met. Yes, correct. and uh, been buddies ever since. And I know that you have you're, you're teaching at many facilities, um, which is a compliment because I think they seek you out. And uh, so you're running around. Are you running around all around New York? Are you in different boroughs? Uh. What? Actually, the well, the golf course is in Westchester County, just uh, in Yonkers, outside of the Bronx, and then uh, two different places in Manhattan, one in Harlem and one in Midtown. And it, it sounds weird because winter's coming, so you would think that business is shutting down, but no, oh, so no. no. <laughs> business picks up for you to come winter. Yeah. How is that possible? No, well, um, I think, you know, it's becoming more and more popular now, uh, uh, indoor golf. Uh, the the mm-hmm. simulators are great, TrackMan and 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 all the uh, uh, things that provides, uh, and just playing some golf. And I mean, you really have a choice in the north. You put your clubs away for five months, or you can uh, you know <laughs> wait for that sixty degree day in January when everybody runs out and it's a six hour round. <laughs> Uh, or you they can play between uh, snow patches. Yeah, snow patch. Yeah, or you, I can, uh, doing that. you know you can play in. Uh, Indoors. Well, you it's, said one of the facilities great. has many a track man, right? I, I don't know the number. You said it was a big number, though. Yeah, so there's uh, Connect Golf. That's on uh, Fifth Avenue, and that has eight track man days. That's, isn't that amazing? And wow. then the Bridge Golf uh, Center, that's in Harlem on 117th Street, and that has three uh, three bays. So is it fair to say that you're as busy come winter as you are in the summer? Not quite, but it's but close. Uh, yeah, now it's it's picking up. Uh, so you're a year round yeah, job. Year round. When job, I lived yeah. back mm-hmm. there, it was a six yeah. month max season. Or you have we, the we, guys that would go to Florida. <laughs> yeah, or whatever. That's, what that, that's really not even an option anymore because all the court, most of the courses in Florida, they hire full time guys, and they don't do that. You know, there are a few still seasonal guys. Are, but, are there places huh. for short game indoors? I mean, are you? Can you pitch and putt? 
Yes. Yeah. You, you sure. have putting green. I mean, Absolutely. I'm trying yeah. to picture one. Yeah. You yeah. probably have you, yeah. after the show. Yeah. Maybe you can show me. Well, some the pictures. actual floor is a putting green with with pre-made holes in the floor, and it's you know. Very cool. So yeah. you, you, this is it's pretty neat, man, and and so and everything's within a, a short distance. You just said right, Westchester and both in up uh, in. Yeah, from from where I live, it's it's very close. Not a, a big commute. It's great. Not as short as your commute. <laughs> <laughs> one of mine is pretty short, but you know, the see Coral Bay drives a little bit longer. Yeah. But uh, yeah, one of them is pretty short. So it's it's awesome that you get to do what you love, and I I know how great of a teacher you are, and that you get to keep doing it. The blog, that's pretty much, well, the, is the book out? Okay, no, the book is not out. I'm still uh, working on the last uh, few chapters. Uh, so what I did with the book is just basically take all my favorite golf drills that I use with my students, uh, my personal favorite exercises that I've done over many years for fitness, uh, and then some basic nutrition information and as you know, uh, and my wife knows, I love to cook. I, I was in the restaurant business for many years before golf and have taken a few online nutrition courses, and I have a lot of recipes. Uh, so uh, so what we decided to do with the blog then uh, was just to, as, as you guys know, as, as professionals, PGA professionals, we want to share our knowledge and experience with others uh, just because we love what we do. So uh, every Monday... Uh, we take a, a golf, fitness, or nutrition topic, and uh, and do a little blog post with uh, you know it's from the book, but just giving you a little of taste of of what's what's to come in 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 the entire book. And, and all yeah. three of those things go hand in hand, obviously. I mean, you, you, your nutrition and your ex and your fitness, fitness, your, you know how yes. you exercise, and your golf skills development. They really go hand in hand. I know Mike. Mike's is is very conscious cautious of, of his his nutrition physical reasons right i mean you mm -hmm. know so he but he's been very much into it you know we go out to eat a lot and his diet is very specific and you know, maybe mine should be a little more specific <laughs> but 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 it but there's you know for your body so yeah and it's so that's neat that so you know food is good yeah right? you make food taste good yeah absolutely. takes an hour to clean the kitchen afterwards i want to tell you when he cooks because yeah, people, 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 no. people in a restaurant business <laughs> They just throw, so they cook. And yeah, well, throw somebody stuff. else cleans that's up. That's right. Them. Yeah, that's why Josie <laughs> didn't you can allow make you in that, the kitchen. You this can year. make that fun. But yeah, I know. Seriously, you yeah. can. You know, if you're doing it with other people, it can be a lot of fun. Carmel you know, and I have a that. system, so we've been doing it for years. Does he help clean? We have a lot of, we have a lot of dinner parties, and uh, well, so it doesn't take. And, us and too Mike's long. right, and it, it could be a lot of fun, and it's and yeah. it's healthy, and it's it's. Yeah. It's, uh, it's, you know, for me, fun was going out, <laughs> so, it's very, but going in could be just as fun. Yeah. I, you know, I get it. And well, the great thing about being here in California is, you know, most of the food from the United States comes from California yeah. and it's all so fresh and you should have seen, uh, we went to the farmer's market and then slow the other yeah. night. <laughs> oh, the kid sure in the candy store. Right? Yeah, yeah, so oh, awesome. They even had kale over there. <laughs> oh, that's awesome, huh? So th is the blog that's focus cool. on one of those three topics each time or you can come? Correct. Okay. Yeah. Every Monday, uh, there's, like I said, a golf or fitness and we kind of do it in that order. Okay. Golf, fitness. So this week will be, uh, this Monday will be golf, I believe, and uh, we'll talk a little bit about impact. Nice. And, and how that affects. Well, it's uh, just what my first golf class ball. was about. Um, it, somewhere along in the book, there has to be, a, 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 and I'm guessing, a chapter on skincare? Well, you know, Carmel and I have talked about that, so I hadn't thought about that originally, but yes, we, yeah. we will put that in there. I guess it's, yeah. you know, especially for the future, and I tried to ask Carmel earlier, <coughs> is the, because of the chemicals in the air and, this, and the ozone and everything, it's not getting better for young people's skin, I'm assuming. Not so, right. so when I was a kid, no. it was a healthier place. There's less, yeah. well, I don't yes. know, yes. Clear, it was bad smog when we were kids. So right. at yeah. one point, remember, my, well, you, <laughs> lived up, you lived up north, but L.A. area was brutal yeah. from years ago. But I'm yeah. su I'm just assuming that, and it's it's a different world. Oh yeah, and the right. food was more nutritious. Yeah, the soil was more nutritious, so you're not getting that. So you have to put it in. So there. it's just be a perfect thing. So, right. but it's a great lifestyle, and you are a great golfer, and you're very fit. It kind of ticks me off a little bit, but I I still love you a but, lot. You, you, know, you can do it and, and have fun with it. You don't, uh, you know, when I go to the gym, I'm not in there for three hours. 40 minutes, bing, bang, boom, I'm out of there. 40 minutes? 40 minutes. That's what I do, too. <laughs> I do. I do uh, that's like, a, that's a long time. That's a, that's a no, it goes one and a half sitcom. Do a little little, <laughs> little warm-up and then uh, specific 
So set of I exercises. Could you ask? I said, "Am I a follower?" Is this on? This is on uh, Twitter, or is this on? What is this? Which what? to follow you? To follow me? Yeah, because you said yes. I'm not a follower. How would I follow you? Okay, so if it's uh, toddbordenaro.com slash blog, and then at the bottom, there's a little... Because I don't have Twitter. There's a little link to click on to follow, so and then you would get an email. I don't have to be week. on Twitter. You do not have to be on okay. Twitter. No. Because I have read your blog, a couple of them. You have? I have. Oh, well, that's nice of you. Well, I get, <laughs> I get one in the mail every day. <laughs> every day. <laughs> How did it impact your life, Bill? I have my buddy here visiting. <laughs> yeah, there you go. See, it's a good thing. Which do you like the most? Writing the book, doing the blog, or getting out there amongst the trenches and, and working with people? Well, obviously, working with people is, is the most fun. But this this gives you, uh, you know, a mode to reach more people. Cooking or blogging? Cooking or blogging? Cooking. Cooking or teaching golf? That's tough. That is okay. So <laughs> cooking really is That's one tough. of your great passions. Yeah. That's fantastic, yeah. Mike. And did you do the cooking in your house there, buddy? I have, yeah. So you share it with your wife and the kids? Yeah. yeah. I actually enjoy it when I come home. When I come home, if I'm not just wiped out from, from the day, then I really enjoy it. But if I come home and it's a really, really long day, I'm... You're exhausted. Yeah, yeah, but I have we have we have things that we do that are like quicker preparation type meals sure. than and, going and your diet's so specific. It's probably easier to get the right stuff that you could eat versus trying to go to restaurants. Oh, sometimes my gosh, it's not it's, so easy, huh? Yeah, e eating at home is way easier. Yeah, way easier because you don't you don't know. I mean, and restaurants can say that they're and they, and they don't know. They, they could do, say yeah, I get it. Yeah, they could say that they're gluten free and what 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 I need it to be, but you never know. You're just you're always taking yeah, a chance. Right. And you go mentioned you gym. go to the gym 40 minutes, and so do you. Are you guys work similar? Do you go to the gym, Carmel? Yes. Every day? No, a couple of times a week. Well, I swim, so little, I do I mean, yoga, I work out. You can you curl her. I mean, you could, <laughs> she's so little. She's so cute. So do you have, are you more stretching, you two? No. No. Cardio? Little, well, with the cardio I do, uh, like Carmel said, we swim. So that's my cardio. So when I go to the gym, I don't really do How a lot How about you there, boss? Uh... 10 or 15 minutes of pre-core because when I, before I get to the gym, I walk the dog two miles and I go 15 minutes of pre-core. Oh, then and I then do pre-core. Then it's all stretching, stretching, core work and flexibility hop. and light weight. Hop, yeah. you, are you a gym guy, Hop? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I do. I drive by them all the time. <laughs> there you go. I actually pulled into one once. That's yeah. awesome. So I'm just curious. You're both golf pros, and you both yeah. are aware of the exercises needed for that. And obviously, you're, it's in your blog and your books. So, so there must be a lot. I'm assuming there's a lot of stretching and core work. And am I right? Yes, correct. So, yes. Mm -hmm. And is that how you work out as well? I mean, you, yes. you you practice what you preach. So everything in there is things that I have done, or and that's I'm so cool. still doing, and or you know, some combination of that. Yeah. And mm -hmm. I, I'm cooking and teaching, you were like, they were right on the, you know, it was a tough choice. What about teaching young people? Well, the first let, let's, let's back up. So okay. if I, I love cooking, I would not want to make a living cooking. But, but you did it one time? I sort of, I did it pretty much every job in the restaurant business. Okay. You can think of. Wow. So you you're better. Your, your, your skill set is more, more for teaching the game, I mean, introducing the game of golf. Yes. And how about um, adults versus young people and, and coaching? Like first, because you're a recognized first tee coach, one of yes. the best in the country, um, and you train coaches. Yeah, uh, well, I like teaching everybody, so I don't have a specific group. But I mean, kids are great, uh, obviously. They're so much fun, and they're full of energy, and uh, and you know, easy to work with. So. Well, one of the cool things that I think we're both blessed with is that we get to to teach other coaches yes. to work with young kids. Yes. So there's that little niche in between. Right. That not only work with young kids, but we're, te we're teaching or we're introducing methods to teach the young Sharing our passion. Sharing our with, passion. With those coaches. I think Mike mm -hmm. just gave it. we got to take a break I, sign. Okay. So, uh, Mike, I'm going to let you do your magic there, buddy. Cool. You both, all three of you look very healthy, by the way. Even oh, yeah. <laughs> Even me. Even you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Golf Talk Radio with Mike and Billy. I'll be right back. You guys stay that with us. That didn't sound right, but that's my <laughs> 